it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Um, so I got so many questions and comments on this little sticker right here. So I wanted to show you how to create the sticker and then do print then cut. So um, first thing is this is all just, I mean, it's lots of colors, which I love, and I am using needle labels. It's my new find. I absolutely love it. The difference between my old sticker paper and this one makes it look like I have a new printer. Um, so I absolutely love it. Um, the link will be here so that you guys can um, just go and purchase. And then um, let's get started. So the main thing with print then cut, um, at least from my point of view, is I try to make a lot of things low maintenance. So in this case like the background is a solid white square so even though i have the colors at the edge um i'm just having my cricut cut basic squares right um, and i do that with the circles as well and sometimes with the circles it looks like i'm doing a scallop shape because i have things i have like a bunch of dots in a circle and it looks like it's catching like this or i'll even have a scallop shape around it but it's thin and then i have a really faint um, you know, like white circle behind it so that I'm not going to get tripped up over that. Like I don't want, um, basically for it to print perfectly. And then I go to my cutting mat and that's where it gets jammed, which just sucks because I've just wasted my paper. I wasted my ink, my time. So, um, you know, when you can, obviously there are going to be times when you need a more intricate cut and it, they, sh you know, the machine should be able to do it, but if you're every, but if you're ever like mass producing, like you're doing 20, 30 stickers, um, just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so here is the sticker. So first thing is the text. I'm pretty sure this is just a regular font here. So let's do Calibri. Um, okay, so I did this one for happy and love the gambles. So here's my text. I'm going to, uh, let me move my face over. Okay. So here is happy. Right. Okay. So that's good. Let's do another text box where it's love. Oh, and I did it all caps. And I actually, I put the wreath there just to be a little extra. <laughs> Um, oh, I did everything caps, jeez, okay. Okay, so we have this, and then holidays, I'm pretty sure is Hannah Berry Koo. This is from Creative Fabrica. Um, if you have a membership there, it's awesome because all of the fonts then um, come with a commercial license use. So you, I, I don't keep track of my fonts anymore. Um, and as well as there's a lot of images and files too. Um, if you don't have it and you want to try it, so well, oh my gosh, <laughs> let me find the font first. Um, if you don't have it and you want to try it, you can just try it for a month and see if you like it. I do have a code for you. It's the useless crafter 30 and you get 30% off every month. So you can try it. Um, and maybe you'll love it so much that you'll keep it. But a uh, worst case is you try it for one month. So, all right. So here's the word holidays. Because it's just one word, I'm I'm going to manually show you how to move these letters. Um, so you want to ungroup it. Normal. I see a lot of people just decrease the the line space. So I'll do it here, or I'm sorry, letter space. So you see they're moving closer and closer. But the problem is, if you can see right here, the distance between the I and the D is pretty minimal at this point, right? But look at the distance between the A and the Y. It's a little bit more, and the D and the A is a little bit more than these two. So at some point, when you decrease this, you're still going to have to manually do it because it's not all going to touch at the same time. So you can see, look how close these two are, right? But then look, this space is still there. So I would just ungroup. And I like to ungroup because I also like to sometimes move um, move things up and down a little bit just to give me some leeway if I'm if I'm stressed for for space. Um, but in this case, it doesn't look like I am. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna move this over. Now the other problem that you might run into when you're welding 
And oh, this S, I don't like the way this S is. I'm gonna decrease this, the actual size of the S so it fits more easily right there. Does that look right? Oh, it looks a little bit high. I'm gonna move, let's see if I can move anything down more. It feels like it's going up, too up. That's the other thing I hate about this. It's like the fact that I have to manually move these things. Whereas if you use Inkscape or Font, Font Lab Pad, which I highly recommend if you're doing anything more than one word, um, because just because I hate it. <laughs> but um, you know, sometimes it's the way the designer created it is the H should be lower or higher, or whatever. It should just do it for you. All right. This looks good, right? But you still have one more step. You need to grab everything and weld it. Otherwise, it's gonna, well, I guess with the print and cut, I don't think that matters. But if you were cutting it for vinyl, um, it would cut out each letter, so you don't want that. You want this to be one item. All right, so holidays is done. I'm gonna change that to purple. This is the easy part. Um, happy, I'm gonna ungroup it as well as love the gambles because I want to change it. So I have five colors that I'm dealing with. So the way I do it is one, and then there's four letters in between, and then, wait a minute, oh, what did I do here? Oh, did I skip? I think I skipped one, okay. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna grab every fourth letter, right? So grab the L, oh, what happened here? Oh yeah, um, hit the shift key, grab the H, and then M, and then S. All of that is gonna be blue. And then the A, so everything after the blue um, is now going to be green. So I'm changing each one and then everything after the green is orange. And then everything after the orange. Oh, I did not do this properly. I left off the red. So we can do this red. Wait, did I? Oh, I don't know what I did anymore. <laughs> but you get it, so you're gonna do I didn't leave anything left. Uh, somehow this Y didn't make it somewhere. So I'm gonna put it as the blue. Okay. Um, all right, so let's bring in this wreath. So it's just in images. And pretty much you can get any of these. I don't even remember which one I picked, but um, you can change any image into, um, what you call it into and flatten it and so that it, it becomes a print then cut file um i am going to choose one i promise maybe this one this time okay so i'm going to insert it sorry <laughs> ah okay um so clearly this is not the same one but you want to now resize this so that it fits in with this and it looks like I need to get this L over now nothing is sized properly at this point right everything's kind of just all over the place um, so now let's do our our dots so our dots the way um, and you'll have to let me know in the comments if you agree with how to do this I'm going to do Four, let's see one two three four five six it's six colors so I'm going to do it like this okay so duplicate and then grab these two and duplicate so there's six colors so I'm going to do my first six and then I'm just going to uh, whatchamacallit copy the next duplicate the rest so here I'm going to align and I'm going to align it um, vertically so it's all straight right okay so let's change the colors so this one I'm going to change it to 
blue. I'm gonna try to copy the same colors, okay? Green, which green is that? Like this one, yellow, orange, and then red. Orange, red, and then purple. Okay, um, all right, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Do they feel like, yeah, my eyes are playing tricks on me. <laughs> okay, let's also bring in a shape, a square to kind of give us a feel for what everything is, right? So let's just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so here's our white square, so let's make it white and send it all the way to the back. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, now then everything else is going to fit on here. So that looks about right. This one, let's group it for now so that they all move together. You don't wanna move anything letter by letter, right? Um, okay, so this looks good. Maybe something like this. Um, so once you like how this is, we could um, flatten it so it becomes one item, right? So it becomes one thing. So the word happy is one thing. All right, let's move this for just a second because I don't wanna mess this up. So right now, um, I think there's too much space in between the words. So I'm gonna move this over, so I like that. And I'm gonna move this over a little bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna grab all of this and I'm going to flatten as well. And bring it to the front. Arrange, send to the, whoa. How come it didn't? Okay, there we go. So we wanna make this fit in here, right? Like that. I guess we can make it a little bit. Okay, so now these three items, this one is not is it flattened? It's just welded. Okay, interesting. Um, we can grab these three items here and now align it. We wanna make sure that it is centered. Okay, so that's centered. If we like the way this looks so far, we can grab everything. Well, actually, hold on. We already centered the um, Happy Holidays, Love the Gamples. So grab the three items that are centered and flatten. So now it's one item, okay? So then what we'll do is we'll grab these two things and we will align center. So this is centered and then we'll flatten this as well. So now this whole thing is one item. All we have left are the little dots to do. Okay, so let's move this back up. And now we have our dots. So here is one, we'll duplicate it. Is it going? There. And then we'll duplicate again. Okay, so that looks about right. So I'm gonna grab this now and I'm gonna go to align and I want to center it vertically so that they're all straight. And then I can distribute vertically so that it's even. And then I can, let's group it for now so that they all move together, right? So that looks good, right? Um, so I'm just going to duplicate so that I have my bottom. Then I'm going to grab these two, this one and this one, and I'm gonna make sure that they're aligned. So I'm gonna align it so that they are, um, oh, that's not what I want, sorry, I wanted the other one. So let me undo, I want align horizontally, hold on. So let's grab these two I know, I start to lose my mind and, oh, once I start looking at this. Okay, I wanna center it. Okay, so it's centered. And then I wanna group it. So now the two of these are 
um, they move as one, right? So, cause they're um, aligned. And then what I'll do is I'll align everything together now. So let's align this, um, center it. Okay, so it's completely centered, okay? So now I can grab, oops, hold on. Let's grab this and duplicate. But this time we wanna rotate it 90 degrees. And then there you have that. And let's see if this works out for us. So it doesn't, not quite. So on this one, what I'm gonna do is, let's do this. Um, let's ungroup it. It looks like we have one too many dots. So let's see what one dot, removing one dot looks like. Um, so let's ungroup this. Okay, so let's get rid of this blue and let's grab this and group it so that we can move it together as one and let's see what this looks like. Okay, there we go. Okay, I still have one too many dots, so I'm gonna ungroup it And I'm gonna get rid of this purple. Okay, so now it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna grab these and group it. And then I'm gonna move it over. And move it down just a little bit. That looks good, right? Okay, so then I'm going to grab this one and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm just going to manually put it in Let's see, scooch it down just a little bit. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this line. So here we have ours, and you can flatten it. Almost the same. <laughs> I, had, I had these lined up smaller and closer together, but this looks pretty darn cute to me too. Um, that's all that there is. So now let's go to, let's go to make it. So let's see how big is this? No, we definitely want to make this smaller. I think I ended up doing it at three inches and I don't have the box with me, but let's change this. Well, we can keep this here so you can see it. So let's go to make it. And what you want to do, so it's a big project because of all the, the little dots and everything, all the details. Um, so only do one sticker. And then what you would do is when you get to the make it page, which hopefully it's taking us to the make it page. Okay. Yeah. It's thinking, um, I would then apply, you know, change the number of copies and apply it there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um, then what you want to do is, and I'm not connected to anything right now. So you send it to your printer and then it's going to come out. It's going to print out all these sheets and then you just send it through your Cricut to then cut the little square around. When I'm doing squares, sometimes I will just take my um, manual paper cutter and just run it through there. All right, so it's taking a while, but hopefully this gets you far enough. Let me know what you think, if it's okay to end it. Um, if you have more questions, more than happy to help you there. Um, the thing with the wreath though is I forgot to tell you that you can make changes to it before you flatten it. So like, let's say, you always do a pink bow with pink hollies or whatever. You can go in there and change that to pink and really personalize it to your thing. Um, um, okay, it's going. Maybe if it loads within the next few seconds, then I'll show you. But I just love all these colors. Um, and I love that play on colors, especially for Christmas, because this is clearly a Christmas thing, but it's just so bright and, you know, avoiding the red and the greens, even though the wreath is, I think it's super cute. All right, this isn't happening. I will see you next time. Let me know if I can help you with a special project, something specific, like even if it's a you want a cake topper for your daughter who's turning seven and you want it these colors, I am totally there to help you because I think everyone else can learn how to design it as well. So, all right, I will see you next time. Thank you.